Welcome to another Fountain Pen Day review. Today's review is going to be the new Fountain Pen Revolution Dilly. Uh, Kevin, who owns Fountain Pen Revolution, uh, designed this pen himself and had it constructed 100% in India. Uh, he sent with it, when you receive it, it's wrapped in this. Uh, it's just an instruction manual that tells you how to use it and how to fill it. Uh, again, it's a piston filler. Just gives you some brief directions. Should you be not familiar with how to fill it. Um, again, he he designed this on his own from scratch. So for him, this is a really nice project. Very affordable pen. Eighteen dollars. Choice of nib, fine, medium, stub. Uh, there's also a flex nib that uh, is very well known out there uh, that you can get with this pen. Uh, all his stub, uh, stubs, all his nibs pretty much are interchangeable. Uh, I happen to have had a flex from the uh, another pen that I had gotten from him, so I ordered this one with the uh, with the stub nib. So, which is what's in here now. All right, we'll start with the cap. It's a very nice translucent blue. Uh, there's a few other colors you can get. There's a very nice red out there, a uh, black one that you can get. Uh, it's simple cap, springy, no problem. Uh, almost, almost pelicanish, but not, but kind of. Uh, simple cap, uh, band around the end to reinforce it, give it a good look. Um, the pen itself. Uh, again, this is the the stub nib that's on there. To get her to focus, there we go. Nice smooth section. Uh, feed is plastic. It's a steel nib, and you can see right through the body. You can see the piston inside. That that hazing right there. That's just I just cleaned it out. And then the piston itself. I like the black accent on it. It matches the, uh, yeah, that matches the cap. You've got the black, black. Translucent between. Focus. There we go. Gives it a very nice look. It's a good pen. Grip section is a little small for me. I have very big hands. Remember that. Um, so when I write with it, I generally hold it up here more towards the uh, towards the threads. The threads are actually really very smooth, so I have no problem holding it there at all. Uh, I don't feel it digging into my fingers or anything like that. I'll show you when we do the writing sample. Um, piston, piston's really smooth, really really smooth. You can see it moving inside. All right, that's about it. I mean, it's uh. Simple pen, $18. Plastic piston filled, 100% made in India pen, $20 shipped to your door. I mean, you just, you can't beat it. And when you see the writing sample and see how it performs, I think you'll be impressed. I know I was. Very nice pen. Very well done, Kevin. Very well done. One thing I love about Kevin, uh, and if you go to his site, you know what? take a minute and read the about page uh, he has his family very involved in what he does uh, the kids are involved with him he gives back to his community a lot uh, he donates some of the proceeds uh, that he makes from this as well so he's a really good guy really really good guy and uh, I congratulate him on getting his own pen out there all right we'll be right back let's see how it writes and we're back uh, one thing I wanted to mention uh, when you order from them, at least every time I have, Kevin throws in a free pen. Uh, both times it was a Serwix. Uh, I'm not going to give any review of it at this time. I mean, it just says it with compliments. Um, it's a good little pen. You know, it's uh, comes with looks like a fine, a fine nib. Fine meaning fine, not just fine, but fine. Uh, it is a piston filler as well. Up down. I mean, it's a good pen. I, I actually used my other one to practice um, smoothing the nib. I gotten some of those uh, nib smoothing things from the Anderson Pen Company, and uh, it was good practice. Look, 
if you don't want to use it for that, you know, it's it's also great to uh, just give to somebody, you know, and get them into the hobby. So it's a nice, a nice extra. Um, we'll weigh this one out really quick while it's empty. Since I didn't forget this time. Uh, 13.9 grams. The cap comes in 5.2. And the pen, 8.8. .8. That right, 8.8, 8.9. All right, so it's a light pen. Um, one thing I noticed, let's see if we can get it to focus right. You'll see these ridges on the back part of the piston right there. And at first I thought maybe they're just there to grip, but they don't really, they don't help you grip at all. I mean, you're gripping up here. And then, having large hands, I decide, you know what, maybe, maybe I'll post this. So when I posted it. If you listen, <laughs> what's happening is these little ridges right here are grabbing onto the inside of the cap where uh, the grooves are. So you can post it right on and it's nice and steady. It's nice. This pen I would actually, uh, I'll actually use posted. Okay, let's fill this thing up and... Uh, get a right example and I want to try and get through this quickly because I want to I want to change this nib out this again is the uh, the stub nib and I'll change it out for the flex nib in a second today we're going to use uh, Noodler's Bay State Blue I thought one of the brightest blues out there would be uh, appropriate for this pen being how nice and blue it is okay. ink Always cap the ink. Okay. All right. We'll get a little camera shake for a second because I'm going to move it down so it's close for everyone to see. And we're going to use La Fontaine French Gold. Again, I'm sorry for the shake. I had a couple of people comment on that. I am sorry. Remember, I'm not a professional. I'm just trying to give you a really good view what's going on um, okay how does this write Sorry. it looks to me like right out of the box this is a fairly smooth nib. Um, it does have the line variation you can see. It's not a lot, but you know, again, this isn't this isn't a flex nib. This is just a stub, so you know you're looking for that very thin line one way and a little bit thicker the other. Um, ink flow is great on this. I mean, this this uh, feed. When I take it out, I'll show you. Very nice. I mean, it's um, it definitely does not leave this pen dry at all. It doesn't leave it overly wet either. Um, oh, that was terrible. But you can see. I mean, again, I'm not putting pressure on it. That's just natural uh, line variation that's coming through. And then if I just write normal, it's, you know, you're going to see some line variation. Thinner lines here, thicker lines here. A little bit of uh, feathering here. I hate how terrible this looks. But I've said it before, having this camera right here on top of you, as well as these incredibly hot lights in my face, really don't help. Um, but again, this is a, uh, a pretty impressive pen. Again, for just for that price alone, you know, eighteen dollars. It's it's you know it's a great value, and this is a good pen. It's a good way to start out, and it's a good way to get somebody, you know, interested in it, and 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 be able to enjoy starting out in the hobby without having to spend a fortune.
a little pressure, you know, this will give some line variation um, and some flex as well. Nice, huh? All right, I'm gonna get inky, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna pull this feed and nib out. Just give me one second. All right, pen. And this feed. For those of you who have, wow, I got ink everywhere. For those of you who have a Delta, you may find that this feed looks incredibly familiar. Now, I even email Kevin and I ask him. And he said, no, 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 everything is made in India. And obviously I'm sure it is. But this feed looks a lot like a Dolce Vita feed. Which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it feeds, <laughs> nice, Bay State fingers. It feeds really, really good. Um, okay. I may have to pause this because I just put the flex nib down. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we'll continue on because all I did was look up. And there it is. So, here's our flex nib. Um, the difference being with the flex nib uh, is that it's got the slit going much further down. Come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. You can see it goes all the way. Whereas the uh, stub nib does not. And you have the breather hole and the uh, slit stops right there. So this one will certainly give a lot more. All right. We will line it up. This is, uh, by the way, <clears throat> oh my lord. What a mess. It's okay. All right. There is a flat spot in here. Um, you can see it's right here on this top side when the light hits it just right. And the flat spot, just like on a delta, is right here. You match it up. Obviously, you want to make sure that the, the shoulders are aligned. And then straight in, it gives a nice positive stop, and you're good. All right, I just dried out the feed, so I'll just re ink it really quickly. Just to be fair, so that we can do this without any major railroading. Cap the ink. Lord, there's enough Bay State blue around here. Don't need any more. Okay. So. Alright. Over to a fresh sheet. And I'll be able to, uh, you know what, I'll keep it on here so you can see the difference. Sorry. Focus some more light. And this is going to be from this point, and you can see it's a little bit wetter. This is the flex. And you can see that this feed feeds. Boy, does it feed. So if you want some flex and you want it cheap, this is absolutely, positively a way to go. Inexpensive pen, nice design, and it works. I mean, that's... I don't think you could ask for uh, more than that from just about any flex pen out there. Because this pen leaves me all smiles. Absolutely. I'm running out of paper, but it's a lot of line. So this turned out to be a little bit longer than I did than I wanted it to. But, I think this was worth it. I think it really shows um, that there are some great values out there. And, 
was hoping this would railroad. Come on. Maybe not. Well, I guess. It doesn't want a railroad. Come on. <laughs> okay. Well, listen. Either way, oh, that was me. I just rubbed the feed down onto the paper. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I wish everyone a very happy Fountain Pen Day, and I hope you enjoyed the review. I'm going to go wash my hands now. Thanks.